Motherhood is a time of profound physical and emotional transformation that can leave women feeling content. They are faced with new and exciting situations that come with the joy of being a new mother. But with the added pressures of returning to work and taking care of the kids, additional stress can lead to excess weight gain. Women's health nurse practitioner and midwife Joanne Perks sees the financial pressures of returning to work as a key factor of stress and weight management for new mothers. So there's a lot of, you know, talking to mums about what, what their difficulties might be, particularly around um, exercise, the stress that's related to going back to work and the pressures on, you know, on us now as mothers. Um, I'm a mum myself and, um, you know, I think I, I know that there's lots of stress and pressure out there in um, women having to return to work because of mortgages, um, you know, um, only having a certain amount of time of maternity leave, uh, those sorts of issues, and, and most women do feel that pressure. And then I think that contributes to whether, whether they're maintaining a healthy lifestyle or not um, because of that pressure to go back to work. Research conducted early this year by Dr Nicole R from the Centre for Health and Economics at Monash University revealed that the lower likelihood of heavy weight gain associated with fewer hours at work suggests more time spent at work may contribute to weight gain for women. Physiotherapist, dietitian and first-time mother Catherine Kokel attributes this weight gain for mothers to reduce time spent preparing home-cooked meals, lack of exercise and exhaustion. Um, I think that working full-time does affect people's eating decisions, mainly because they don't have the time to prepare healthy food. Um, often people say they're too tired, so instead they just go and buy food, which means that often it's not as nutritious as if you're cooking it yourself because you don't know what's in it and exactly how it's been prepared. So women that work in physical jobs, it's a lot easier for them to exercise. Um, but if you're working in a sedentary job and then you go home to a family, it can be really hard to find the time. So it's one of those things where you have to make a conscious decision to make the time. However, Mrs Kirkwell sees that being a new mother will be advantages to her health and lifestyle and will not contribute to excess weight gain. I find um, having a child actually makes it a lot easier to eat healthily because you're thinking about what they need and what you should be eating for their health. Um, but also I find that we've been eating out a lot less so we're eating more home cooked meals. In contrast, mother of two and employee, Lorraine Gardner, sees the correlation of conflict between being a working mother and her physical needs. Okay, uh, work definitely does conflict with um, diet and exercise, just trying to get to the gym, especially after do, doing a nine and a half hour day sometimes, like you think, okay, especially in winter, unless I take my clothes to the gym, I sort of turn around and keep driving home. But if I've got my stuff in the car and I get changed at work, I'll go straight to the gym, no qualms about it. Because not finishing till 6, 6.30 does make it hard. It also makes it hard to get the classes you want at the gym. But yeah, so it does make it hard. And same with like eating well while you're at work, doing those long hours. Like I suppose a lot of the time I come home because I live close to work and I will make myself a sandwich or if my husband's home, we'll have a sandwich together. But if I go into the shops, well, then you're not eating well. You're just like, oh, wow, look at that. I'll have that. Oh, wow, look at that. And you know you're not eating as healthy those days as you would if you were at home. Editor at Little Angel magazine and recently married Michaela George predicts that becoming a new mother will bring change to her current health and lifestyle with new transitions and conflicts. Your pregnancy does take quite a big toll uh, on your physical appearance and on your body. And, it, you know, um, we're not all Miranda Kerr. We don't all bounce back in you know, four weeks. So I do expect that, you know, especially because I can't maintain the same level of exercise that I currently do, that it will take me longer physically to get back into the same shape I was before and to feel um, physically as healthy as I, as I usually do, uh, especially uh, because, you know, lack of sleep is a big factor in feeling healthy and feeling well, having a positive sense of well-being. So uh, I think it's just getting into a good routine is important, but I mean, Babies are unpredictable, so you can't always, uh, you know, rely on that beforehand. But I think it's getting adjusted and doing your best. Mrs Perks offers a few suggestions for new, experienced and potential working mothers in maintaining their health to prevent unhealthy decisions that may lead to or cause weight gain. One of, one of the questions I often ask um, mothers or often have a discussion with mums is, what are you doing to look after you? Because you can't look after your children unless you look after yourselves. So, so the healthy things might be getting out at lunchtime if you're working and going for a walk. 
Um, so walking or exercise is good for our mental health as well as our physical health. So not sort of being in the office um, for the whole day. Um, you know, parking the car a little bit further away and walking. Um, if you've got the time to then go back and, and you know, pick up your child or whatever you need to do. Um, maybe cooking the whole week's meals on a Sunday afternoon. You know, a lot, a lot of women have said that that works for them. Or even when I was talking about early parenting in childbirth groups, I'd sort of suggest making a double batch of, you know, spaghetti bolognese um, and freezing the other half so that you've got some frozen meals that you can just pull out, of, out and microwave them. You know, just simple things like that. It is important for working mothers to be aware of their physical needs to prevent weight gain and obesity in the future. For any questions or tips regarding healthy practices, they are advised to contact their local GP, weight loss clinic or health centre. Jolene Samawi for The M Word.